Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Day and I am one of the carpentry instructors in the CTE department at Somerville High School. Along with my duties as a carpentry instructor, I also help run the CTE ambassador program. Every year, myself and a group of students travel to the elementary schools to give a presentation on what the CTE department has to offer to incoming ninth graders. Because of the circumstances this year, we will be unable to visit the school in person and instead have recorded the presentations for you. Before I turn it over to our wonderful student ambassadors, I would like to take a few minutes to talk to you about the CTE department and the exploratory program offered to ninth grade students. Somerville High School is a comprehensive high school, which means we offer a full academic course load as well as career and technical training programs. CTE stands for Career and Technical Education and offers an exciting experience for those who participate. Students enrolled in the CTE program get the opportunity to learn about and train for a specific career, while also attending regular academic classes. In addition to providing training in a specific career field, we also do a lot of work on building what are called soft skills. These soft skills include things like teamwork, interpersonal communication, and problem solving. These are important skills that employers look for in their employees, and these skills will help you be successful in any career that you pursue. You may have heard that if you are a CTE student, you won't be able to attend college. This is completely false, and in fact, the majority of our students do pursue post-secondary education at a two or four year college. You will essentially be completing a typical high school workload, as well as becoming certified in a specific career area. Many colleges view this as a sign that you are determined to challenge yourself. CTE courses will generally replace elective courses that non-CTE students would sign up for. You do not miss the opportunity to be successful academically while participating in CTE, as you will be taking the same academic courses as your peers. Many of our students take AP classes and are accepted into very well-regarded four-year colleges, including Tufts, Brown, Harvard, and MIT. Please do not let the misconception that taking a CTE course limits your ability to attend college stop you from participating in this great opportunity. We in CTE see our programs as providing additional pathways for student success after graduation. You not only have the opportunity to attend college, but you also have the opportunity to begin a successful and lucrative career in your chosen area. There is more than one route to success, and by taking a CTE course, you are increasing your potential options upon graduation. Many students choose to both attend college and work in their chosen field at the same time. This allows them the financial resources to complete their education without taking on large student loans. We currently have 14 CTE programs to choose from, each offering unique experiences and opportunities to students. Each of the programs also has brand new shop spaces and equipment as part of the new Somerville High School building project. The 14 programs currently offered are advanced manufacturing, automotive technology, carpentry, cosmetology, culinary arts, dental assisting, drafting and engineering, early education and care, electrical, graphic design and visual communications, health careers, which has a split course for certified nursing assistant and pharmacy technician. As well, we also offer metal fabrication and welding, along with two new programs, HVAC and plumbing. Hi, my name is Adalia Velasquez. I'm a junior year student at the Advanced Manufacturing CTE program. Um, I chose this program because I really like this idea of working with complex things. For those who don't know what you do in the manufacturing industry, um, you basically work with raw materials like metals and plastics and turn them into um, functional products or larger products. Um, also, there's a lot of technology and science used. Um, but you basically, freshman year, you basically work on 3D printing and how to operate a leaf. Sophomore year, you work on CAD, des CAD design and um, how to read and draw technical designs. Um, so, uh, junior year, you work um, on comp, uh, uh, advanced CAD design and OSHA 10. And senior year, 
you work on advanced CAM programming. Um, some of the projects that I worked on, um, oh, sophomore year last year, I worked, we were actually doing this um, thing with the Capano. We were trying to create these toys for the kids before Christmas. I, rem I remember we had like an option of, you know, creating whatever toy you wanted to. And first we obviously had like, we used paper or things around the class to create what we wanted. After, after high school, you can um, either go straight into work and um, work in the manufacturing industry. Um, you can also do a co-op job during senior year if you want to. Uh, after high school, I'm actually not sure what I really want to do. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening and taking time. Now. Hi, my name is Robert Benavides. I'm a senior in the automotive program. I chose auto because from a young age, cars always interested me. Hello, my name is Malis Oxalam. I'm a senior from the automotive program. Um, there's no auto. I wanted to know how a car functions, so I knew auto was the best program for me. In the automotive program, you'll learn all about cars, hand tool safety. So such as in your freshman year, freshman year, you'll go over safety protocols and hand tools. So by your sophomore year, um, you will start hand on. So that means you start doing all the chains, brake and learning the system of the car. By your junior year, you'll go into more complicated things by fixing a car, but overall you'll go over certifications such as OSHA 10 and AC Delco and other small certifications. So that means by your senior year is more independent. So you will get co-op. So you go outside the school and start um, doing job companies and you can start getting internships. So after all those four years, you'll end up with the OSHA 10 certification and many more certifications in other dealership companies. And then so that can be um, after high school, if you want to go to a company or a dealership, or you can just go straight to high um, college and do a program two years of college. After high school, I plan on attending a four year college. So after high school, I'm planning to go to a four-year college of engineering. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Eduarda. I'm a senior in the carpentry program. And I picked this shop because I felt like it was the one that was most beneficial to know outside in the real world after school is over. Um, and it's the most enjoyable. Hi, my name is Leslie. I'm a junior in the carpentry program, and I chose carpentry because I hope to go into the carpenter's union after high school. Hi, my name is Wilmer. I'm a junior in the carpentry program, and I chose carpentry because it seemed the most interesting to me and the most uh, fun on projects to do so as well. Hi, my name is Aiden. I'm a junior in the carpentry program, and I joined because I like doing hands-on projects, and I enjoyed the content that was presented to us in our freshman year. And it's a fun way to do something that you enjoy and express yourself in a different way than you do regularly in school. Uh, to start off, carpenters work with various hands-on and power tools for construction uh, projects and uh, residential homes and commercial buildings as well. Um, the Summer of our High School Carpentry Program teaches us about all aspects of the shop, including building layouts, blueprint reading, and foundation work. It also teaches you the entrepreneurship skills you need to be successful on this career path. Um, some of the things we completed my freshman year was the shop and safety procedures. We also learned how to safely use measuring, and we also learned about the roles and responsibilities of carpenters on a job site, which is very important. Right into your sophomore year, you learn how to safely use power tools 
and some projects you'll build your sophomore year is a crate box, a scooter, and a cutting board. You also get CPR and first aid certified at the end of your sophomore year. And then your junior year, you start learning about the things that go into work before you even put a hand on a tool by learning how to make blueprints and scale out projects before you ever start building them. You also get your OSHA 30 certification, which is necessary to do work in the real world and in the Carpenters Union. And you also start doing bigger, more complex projects compared to your sophomore year. Um, during your senior year, you learn a um, variety of different things. Um, you learn how about carpentry exterior finishes, um, stairway systems, and roofing systems. Um, the most exciting about part about your senior year is the um, co-op, which is the opportunity to leave school um, during your um, class and work for um, a company while you're and make money during school hours. Um, some of the certifications that you leave the high school with are your OSHA 30, um, some ladder safety, your um, CPR first aid certification that you receive your sophomore year, and a one year um, that goes towards um, an apprenticeship in the union. So after, after high school, the, um, the opportunities that the coverage program gives you so like Eduardo said, um, once you go into the, Carp the Carpenters Union, usually anybody else going into the Carpenters Union needs four years of an apprenticeship. And then after that, you start getting paid more. But with the Carpentry Program, you go into the union with one year of an apprenticeship. So after three years, you can start making as much as everybody else. And also, if you'd like to continue your education, the Carpenters Union will help pay for, your, for you to go to college. So after college, I plan on going to a four-year school um, and majoring in criminology. Um, after high school, I hope to get into a trade school and then go into the Carpenters Union. Um, after high school, I'm undecided on what, what I'm going to do after high school. So, yeah. I plan on going to a four-year college and um, exploring my interests, but if nothing else works out, I always know I have this to fall back on. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Janelle and I'm a senior at the SHS Cosmetology Program. I chose cosmetology because when I was younger, I used to love playing with my friend's hair and doing my friend's nails. Hi everyone, I'm a senior too in the cosmetology program. My name is Diana. Um, I chose cosmetology just because I love to do hair and do nails. Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and I'm a junior and I chose this career because I love doing hair and I'm really interested what goes on in the hair. And yes. And I want to um, own my own business and work with clients. Um, cosmetology is the study of hair, skin, and nails. So in our shop, we learn all about the chemistry of hair, skin, and nails and how to change them physically based on how people want them to Going into freshman year, you basically learn about the basic stuff. Um, you start off with nail art, and then you learn how to braid hair, and you start to do book work. Um, sophomore year, you continue to book, um, do book work. Um, you go into skin, you learn about facials, waxing, thermal, and wet hairstyling. Your junior year, you start going into more complex things, and you learn the chemistry of the hair, you learn basic hair cutting, and you work more with waxing and more like in-depth versions of what you did in sophomore year. And then senior year, you get to learn perms, which is permanent waving and permanent straightening. And you also learn color theory and more complex haircuts. And so 
you will receive a certification in OSHA 10 and certification for cosmetology. Right after high school, you can go into working into a salon. You can become a hairstylist, a nail technician, or an esthetician. After high school, I plan on going to a four-year college. After high school, I plan on going to a two-year college. After high school, I'm planning on to go to a four-year college um, and working in the hair industry and becoming a lawyer. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cole. I'm a senior. I do culinary. I picked culinary because when I was a little kid, I liked baking and cooking, so it became my passion. Hi, I'm Janet. I'm, in the, I'm a senior in the culinary program, and I chose culinary because... Hi, I'm Ashmeen. I'm a junior in the culinary arts program, and I chose culinary because I've been cooking since I was younger, and I've always loved it. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm a junior in the culinary arts program, and I like baking and cooking. Um, so what we do in culinary is we, we do like, we bake, we cook, and we learn about the basic skills to be a chef or become a baker. We learn about basic knife skills. We learn about sauces, soups, um, breaking down chicken, different types of things to just help you further your career. As a freshman in culinary, you get to touch the basics and kind of just learn, like, kind of just, like, the start of, like, how to, like, uh, cook and how to bake. And they really give you, like, a good uh, tour of, like, all the different things you need to use when you're in culinary. As a sophomore, you... You pretty much, as a sophomore, all you do, you work more on like uh, baking skills and mise en place, which is uh, food in place, and you also will learn a little bit about mass production. Um, in junior year, you practice more on your basic knife skills, and then you also learn more about um, equipment and like how to be safe around the equipment and be safe around the kitchen. And senior year, you just get to cook and be part and be take part in the kitchen. After you finish the culinary program, you have a lot of different options. If you truly want to become a chef, you can go to culinary school. Um, you can also go straight to work. Um, we get a certification. Um, from our program that allows us to work in any restaurant that we want and they will most likely hire us on the spot because we have the training needed. You can also work outside the restaurant and be a waitress or a waiter. Um, you can also just go to a two-year, four-year college. After high school, I plan on going to a four-year college while also working. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after high school yet. I think I'm gonna go to a two year or four year college and do business and try to open up my own business, maybe a restaurant. Uh, after high school, I want, I, I'm pretty unsure about what I want to do, but I am interested in going to college after and then maybe opening my own business. My name's Jazz and I'm a senior in the dental assisting program and I chose dental assisting because I'm interested in teeth. My name is Melissa. I am currently a, de a senior in the dental assisting program. I chose this program because going through exploratory, it's the first one that caught my attention and when I finally got to do the hands-on experience it brought me, I didn't want to pass it up. My name is Natalia. I am a junior in the dental program and I chose the dental program 
because I had found an interest I didn't know I had, as well as I liked that I had the option to work with professionals in the future. Uh, my name is Lydia. I'm a junior, and I picked dental assisting because I saw that dental had a really promising future in the industry because of the technology that we use and how we actually need the hands-on experience from people to perform the jobs. So during, so the main job of a dental assistant is to prepare you like to help the doctor and to the, the, the hygienist to do certain procedures. So you're basically like handing them instruments or helping, you know, suction out the mouth or anything like that. So some projects we do in the dental program are impressions, posters for kids in, the, in a dental office, as well as fake dental office flyers. In freshman year, we usually do pre-PE. We do the dental history, like we find out about like who was the first dentist to certain procedures that were first performed. And we also practice uh, dental safety, like what you do in the dental office. Sophomore year, we focus on infection control. We learn how to classify and identify methods of sterilization. We go over PPE and we learn tray setup. During junior year, we take impressions on each other and we practice suctioning as well as applying the topical anesthetic. We get um, OSHA 10 certified. During your senior year of the dental assisting program, you will go on an internship to an actual dental office where you can potentially get jobs from. I know a lot of the students that have gone through the program actually end up getting jobs, which is a pretty cool experience. Um, you get CPR certified and you also will be getting your radiology license, uh, which leads me into the certifications that you will get. You'll get your dental assisting license as soon as you graduate. You'll have your CPR certification, your OSHA 10 and radiology license all leaving with you once you graduate from the program. After you complete the program, you can further your education in dentistry at college to become a dentist or a periodontist or an orthodontist, or you could just take the knowledge that you got from this high school program and you could become um, a dental assistant. After high school, I plan on studying at a four-year college philosophy. After high school, I plan on going to a four-year college for hygiene. I wanna extend my knowledge of being in the dental field along with learning something I've never learned before. And while I'm in college, I want to become a dental assistant to help me pay off for the college. After high school, my plans are to continue my education in dentistry and work as a dental assistant at the same time. My plan is very similar. I just plan to go to a local college, work as a dental assistant, switch into a bigger university or college, and still be able to pay and work and do everything at the same time. We all just want to thank you guys for listening, and we hope that you guys are able to join the program and freshen up our, and extend our lovely dental assisting program. It's an amazing program, and you guys don't want to pass it up. Hi, my name is Isaiah. Uh, I'm a sophomore at Samoa High, and I am doing architecture and engineering. And the reason why I chose that program is because I was interested in engineering as a freshman. Hi, my name is Jaspreet. I am a junior and I am in the program architect and engineering. I chose that program because as a freshman, I wanted to pursue my career in architect. Hi, I'm Matthew and I'm a junior at Somerville High, and I am part of the architect and engineering program. And I choose to be part of the program because I always liked uh, planning, construction, and building. Hi, I'm Ara. I'm a senior. I'm in the architecture and engineering program. I always I chose um, this program because I was always interested in engineering. Architect is basically all about designing a blueprint or making a design of a commercial and a house building or properties. Um, engineering is basically making the architect's dream come true with doing the math and making sure that the building or whatever design they made can withstand any added pressure or weight. So, 
freshman year in the architecture and engineering program, you learn basic skills on design software, such mm -hmm. as AutoCAD and SketchUp, and on the basic skills you learn are just drawing 3D and 2D shapes. In your sophomore year, you develop and improve your skills in those software 3D building apps. In your junior year, you start learning your engineering and you do cool projects on Onshape. And you also get a 10 hour OSHA certificate, which you could per use in any career and field. Uh, in senior year, you learn more about architectural topics and continue working on SketchUp and Onshape. And also you start to lear learn and use the Revit program. After Opportunities after completing the program is you could either work in the field of architecture or in engineering after high school or choose to pursue a bachelor's or master's in engineering or architecture. Plans I got after graduating from high school is going to a four-year college to get my architectural degree. Um, after high school, I plan to go to a four-year college to get an engineering degree. After high school, I'm, pl I'm planning to go to a four-year college and pursue an engineering degree. After high school, I am planning to go to a four-year college and pursuing an engineering degree. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a senior in the early education program, and I chose this program because I like working with children. Hi, my name is Elsie, and I'm a senior in the early education program, and I chose this show because I want to learn more about kids and gain more experience. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a junior in the early ed program. I chose the early ed program because I enjoy working with kids. Hi, I'm Diana, and I'm a junior in the early education program. Um, I chose this program because I enjoy working with kids. Uh, early education is a job where you learn the, develop the development of children from birth to 18 years old, but it's not limited to only working in a classroom. Some projects we complete throughout the years are all about me making your own instrument, classroom in a box, learn about different dis disabilities, and many more. Mm -hmm. We learn freshman year about, are about fine motor skills, and we learn about each other and get to know each other more, and we learn about disabilities. During our sophomore year, we learn in depth about disabilities, genetics, and how they create who you are. We also begin learning how to create lesson plans, and we intern and participate in the Winter Hill AIM program, which is the autistic program. During junior year, we create our own lesson plans. We take OSHA 10, which is a safety class that all shops have to take. We also start internship second quarter on Mondays and Fridays, and we go out to our own different classrooms throughout the city. We participate at Somerville Special Olympics and volunteer at Perkins School for the Blind. During our senior year, we take entrepreneurship, which help us create our own business and resume. We also go out on an internship starting second quarter, and we go on Monday, Thursdays, and Fridays. We get CPR and first aid certified, and we volunteer at Perkins School for the Blind. When we graduate from our program, we will be a licensed preschool teacher in a private setting. By continuing on to college, we have the options of becoming teachers, counselors, social workers, child psychologists, or even working in a pediatric office or in a juvenile facility. After I graduate from the early education program, I plan on going to a four-year college to major in psychology. After I graduate from high school, I'm planning to go to a four-year college to become a pediatrician. After I graduate high school, I plan on going to four-year college and major in special education. After graduating high school and completing the early education program, I plan on going to a four-year college to become a guidance counselor or work in an, admi in an administrative position. Thank you for listening. Hope you are considering taking an early ed. Hi, my name is Kyle and I'm a senior in the electrical program. Um, the reason why I chose electrical was because I love to work hands-on and electrical seemed like it just caught my eye because it was something that was interesting. Um, 
Electrical is where you learn how to install plugs and switches and lights. An example of installing um, lights would be installing lights in your house so you're able to walk around the house. Each year you learn something different. So freshman year you learn how to connect wires and um, on basic tool safety. Sophomore year you learn how to install outlets, switches. An example of an outlet is where you charge your phone in your bedroom. That's an outlet. That's what electricians do. They install that. And junior year, you learn how to bend pipe and um, put wires into it. An example where you would see bend pipe would be, or pipe in general, would be in an office building or a school. Um, senior year, you learn how to install fire alarms, motor control. Um, an example of motor control would be um, when you click a button in an elevator and it goes up and down. Um, and the certifications you would get is OSHA 30. And basically what OSHA 30 is, it's um, a card that saying that you're certified um, of being on a construction site because you know the, the safety of being there. And uh, something else that we, you can do in electrical is you can go off and do co-op. So your senior year, you can basically go work and, you know, make money as well, maybe make money or they make, make money and like, get credit of being in class and get a thousand hours towards your 8,000 electrical license. After you graduate, you can go to a local um, electrical union or you can go to a two-year or four-year college to pursue electrical. What I plan to do after high school is go into the local 103 or the union. Hi, my name is Lola. I'm a senior in graphic design and I chose this shop because I really love art and I wanted to learn how to create a web tune and animation. In graphic design, what we do is we make visual content to relay a message or create something visually pleasing for an audience or a client. Hi, my name is Kaylee. I'm a junior in graphic design. I chose this shop because I've always liked technology and design. I wanted to learn more about design and how to use different Adobe softwares. Hi, my name is Edwin. I am a junior in graphic design. I chose this shop because I've always enjoyed working with computers and I've also found um, an enjoyment in art. And so I just wanted to combine both of them and see how the class goes. Um, in freshman year, what we learned is the Basic concepts of typography, we familiarize ourselves with Photoshop and Illustrator and start using the pen tool to trace and start creating simple designs. In our sophomore year, we start using other Adobe softwares. We start to get into Photoshop and practice editing pictures, like fixing red eyes and other mistakes. Um, we also start learning how to use InDesign. Junior year, we work on various projects such as posters and comics, and then we move into a photography unit. Then in our senior year, we create a website for our portfolios to send to colleges or any careers that we're um, pushing for. Uh, on our portfolio, we have different projects that we've done throughout our time in graphic design, such as comics or self-portraits. We receive certifications for Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, which verifies that we know how to use the programs properly. We also have the OSHA certification. OSHA, OSHA is the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. They make sure that workspaces are safe and that employees have safe and healthy working conditions. Getting OSHA certified means you understand the rights related to workspace safety. Some post-secondary options are college for four years or two years, and some graphic design related majors include commercial and advertising art, digital arts or computer graphics, commercial photography, and web development. Some careers in this field include being a production artist, product developer, or a marketing specialist. After graduating, I plan on going to a four-year college and majoring in digital arts. 
I plan on going to a four-year college and majoring in computer science. I plan on going to a four-year college and also majoring in computer science. Thank you for listening for our presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Hello, I'm Kayla Buffini. I'm a senior in the, I'm a senior in the CNA Health Careers Program. I chose to be a part of the CNA program because I hope to become an RN. I've always loved the idea of helping others, and everything in the Health Careers Program is very interesting to me. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm also a senior in the CNA program. And the reason that I chose to be in is because I've always had a dream of becoming a nurse when I was older. And I love taking care of people and making them feel better. Hi, my name's Steph Galubin. I'm a junior in Somerville High School Health Career CNA program. And I chose to go into this program because I always like enjoy sacrifice, sacrificing myself for others, whether it's like feeding them, helping them with groceries, translating, or lending a welcoming ear. And like a lot of the people that surround me went into the health careers program, which motivated me more to like learn more about the medical field. Okay, so I'm part of the CNA health careers program, which involves training in the medical fields. In our program, the human body, um, learn about how to properly care for your patients or your residents, um, learn about infectious diseases, the um, spread of them, and how to properly take care of them. Um, with Somerville High CNA program, you learn many more knowledgeable facts about the medical fields. More importantly, in the CNA program, you learn how to properly take care of your patients hands-on. So the CNA program is separated through freshman to senior year. So during freshman year, you will learn about the different fields in the healthcare industry, safety procedures, the, the different departments in healthcare, bodily system, injuries, and caring for those injuries, EpiPen training, hands-only hands -only CPR training, and like a sensory game where you rotate around like games that like deal with hearing sight and mobility. Sophomore year, there's a lot of review of the history of healthcare, medical inventors, careers and facilities in healthcare, review on the body systems, um, learning about licensing, certification requirements, all that, diseases in the body, infection control, PPE and hand washing, modes of communication, culture and diversity in, in the world, and OSHA cert certification. Junior year, we will be obtaining vital signs, communication and cultural humility, observing, reporting, and documenting patients, le legal and ethical practices, first aid training, and obtaining Alzheimer's disease certification, so COVID certification, and bloodborne pathogens certification. In senior year, you will do a lot of the same things, but this time certified, you'll be a, like, a certified nursing assistant skills with hands-on experience in elderly homes, researching about influenza and a patient's home, and then again, the bloodborne path pathogen certification, COVID certification, and then finally, CNA certification. Okay, so some of the things that you can do after graduating high school is you'll have your CNA certification, so you'll be a certified nursing assistant, so you can either go and work in a hospital or a nursing home taking care of the patients hands-on, or you can continue your education and you can become an RN in one of the nursing schools that are one of the schools that have a nursing program in it. And thankfully, a lot of the hospitals around here are looking for CNAs to help them at the hospitals and everything. So that's one of the really good opportunities. Um, and then from college, if you do continue to do if you do continue to do your education, you can get your RN degree and take the exam to become an RN and you'll be you'll have bachelor's in science and nursing. 
Um, so my plans after high school include attending a four-year college and becoming a certified RN. Um, I love learning about the medical fields, and I look forward to working into in an. I look forward to working in an amazing hospital one day. My goal is to go to a four-year nursing program, and I've already gotten accepted into four out of the seven schools that I've applied to. And my top two right now are Curry and Salem State, and I plan on hopefully working in a hospital as I'm going to college. Um, after high school, I plan on going to a four-year college also and like graduate gradually making my way into being a nurse practitioner, either for pediatrics or like ICU, which I'm very like interested in and hope I like can further my investment in. Thank you for listening to our CNA uh, presentation. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. I'm Jared Gorman. I'm a 12th grader here at Somerville High School, and I'm currently in the healthcare's pharmacy technician program. And I personally chose this program because I want to go into the medical field, and I personally would like to become a surgeon one day. And I feel like this gave me a great foundation to go on for my bachelor's degree, for my medical degree, and then residency and becoming a professional. Hi, um, I'm Ava Hardy and I'm an 11th grader here at Somerville High and I'm in Health Careers Pharmacy. I personally chose this because I feel like it will prepare me for medical school by learning the medications and being able to get familiar with different people and expand my knowledge in the medical industry. And this is a good opportunity that many schools don't offer. Um, so pharmacy technicians work alongside pharmacists to ensure each patient receives their prescribed medications and help them with insurance issues. Although we may not be able to counsel patients, measure, but we are able to measure, count, mix, and package meds, receive prescriptions, and confirm their accuracy, verify insurance information, and perform medication inventory. So during your time in the pharmacy program or um, health careers program, as a freshman, you'll learn CPR training, and most importantly, you'll create a huge project representing all the bones in the body. Sophomore year, you'll get your OSHA certification and you'll pick um, an inventor that's most important to you and describe their life and what they invented and how that impacted the healthcare field. Um, In your junior year, after learning about the pharmacy laws, each student was given two laws to study and make a presentation on this. You also go more in depth on what you'll be doing in the pharmacy so you can prepare for co-op and you actually start to take modules so you're actually ready to go into the field. Senior year, you finally get to experience the co-op throughout the whole year if you have done all of your things beforehand. And this allows you to actually work in the pharmacy instead of going to class. So you can go from English to math to going right to working into a pharmacy and not having to go back to school for the day. Um, This personally gives you the experience and also gives you the chance to have a real job in high school. Some opportunities available from completing this program would be that you become a pharmacy technician right after graduation. You can be nationally certified so you can work at any pharmacy in the country. Um, You'll also be able to go to college too. You can go under any major and you can also be a pharmacy technician in college just as a job. And being able to have this really allows you to go into different career paths. It doesn't stop you from going to college actually gives you a really well-paying job to do throughout the college career. And I personally am in the application process for four-year colleges. I plan on doing a biology degree and then applying to medical school. And I am waiting to hear back from my 12 schools. Um, I also plan to go to college and I want to study biomedical engineering. And upon graduation of getting my bachelor's degree, I want to attend medical school to become a doctor. But um, if I do not choose to attend medical school, um, I will be able to fall back on my biomedical engineer career. Thank Thank you for listening. I'm Idalia Pleites. I'm a junior and I've been in medical applications since freshman year. Um, 
I chose it because of the people and I just thought it looked really fun. Basically, metal fabrication is welding metals together and it's it could be kind of complicated sometimes and you need to do a lot of math but it's really fun um there's a lot of training you have to do especially junior year uh, good morning my name is uh, diego perez i am a junior in the metal fabrication and welding program uh, I chose this program due to the group of people that I've been in, and it's simple, but as Adalia said, it's pretty complicated um, for some processes. Um, you have to do a lot of training for like safety, since you're working with fire and the light that it creates can hurt your eyes or things like that. Yeah, um, some training, uh, like for freshman year, we do just basic shop uh, safety training. Uh, sophomore year, we learn about OSHA, but then junior year, we start like working on like OSHA, like um, through like the first and second quarter. And also in, ju in junior year, you learn about how work safety and how to get the permits and we also learned the safety for each uh, different type of welding procedure, like uh, gas, gas metal arc welding, uh, tungsten welding, plasma arc welding, and the gases and filler, metal, filler metals that go into it. Freshman year, we learned how to make like roses out of like, like melting some of the metal together and then like shaping them, like with like tools like um, a flat headed hammer. Okay. And for, f for future, um, we're planning to, I know um, there's gonna be like, like individual projects next year where like we can make like something like uh, a railing for like handicapped people and Basically, whatever, like, object that's big enough for, like, everyday use, like, shelves and other things like that. Um, and since right now we can't really do it on hands, we have done a project of making jewelry. It was a ring off of, like, a soda can or just any type of can. We've also made uh, toolboxes, like, out of uh, the sheet metal. Um, opportunities after uh, when you graduate welding from high school is you could go to like normal colleges like for two or four years go to the military or you could go to the union which is an extended version of like the welding class but for more years so you get more experience to work at better welding jobs and have more opportunities in the welding field um, like Diego said, I'm thinking of going into the union, maybe, or going into a normal college and maybe working more on metal fabrication and learning more about it. I haven't decided what to do after graduating, but I feel like the best choice for me is to go to the union and pursue uh, the career of metal fabrication and welding. In addition to the programs that you've heard about already today, we have two new CT programs starting their first full year of instruction in the 2021-2022 school year. These new programs are plumbing and HVAC. Students will learn about the trades of plumbing and HVAC and gain hands-on experience in both of these career areas. These programs will both be included as part of exploratory next year, and you will have the opportunity to visit both of these as well as all of our other wonderful programs. I would like to thank you all for listening to our presentation today, and I look forward to seeing you in Exploratory next year.